Hey guys, welcome to Code Spy. So today we are going to talk about our next topic related to Spring AI, that is function calling. So in the last video, we discussed like how can you create a Spring AI project, okay? So function calling is a way to integrate your AI models with existing Java applications or existing Java functions or existing APIs. So why do you want to do that? To understand this, we can take an example. So suppose that uh, you are creating a chatbot for your application. Okay, we can take example of our last project, hotel booking website. So for that, you want to create a chatbot. Why do you want to create a chatbot? Of course, to resolve customer queries. Whatever customer is asking, your chatbot should be able to answer those queries. But customer is not going to ask what is chatbot and uh, how are you right customer will ask specific questions related to your project your website like how many rooms are available what is the price of uh, rooms what is the price range you have for these hotels blah 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 do you think that your ai models are capable to answer these questions if we go back to our id if we see our last project what are we doing there so if i open ai controller here you will see that uh, we are accepting a message in the parameter and we are passing this message to this chat response method and using chat client we are calling that AI model and we are passing that message and for that message we are getting response. But here you are not connecting with your API, right? So if you will ask, you know, these questions related to your hotel to these AI models, it is not going to give you the answer, right? So for that you need to integrate your AI models with your APIs, right? So to create a function, I will create one package with the name function. So inside this function package, I will create a new function. I will put the name as uh, hotel, hotel function. Okay. So whatever functions you are going to create, your AI models are going to integrate with those functions. But as of now, this is a normal class, right? So this way your open AI will not understand. So for function calling feature, uh, your class must implement uh, function interface. So in this function, first parameter is going to be your request and second parameter is going to be your response. Okay. So for that, uh, I am going to create uh, two records inside this hotel function. I hope you know what is record. If you don't know, you can go through my videos. I have already created a very detailed video on records. So this is going to be our request. Now I'm going to create a response. So I will keep the response name as hotel. Okay. And in hotel, I will pass integer. First your parameter is going to be integer ID string name string address string price something like that okay so this is first one is your request second one is your response so i will pass the same request here and uh, in response i will pass this hotel we need to use fully qualified import here okay so this is uh, now you have to create apply method public and what are you going to return hotel and apply in apply you will accept request so from here we will return our uh, hotel object so in hotel we have id then uh, name i wish something hotel then uh, address kolkata price is also a string so price is like 3000 okay now this class is ready to integrate with the ai models so what are we doing here here uh, we have created class which is implementing function and in function you are passing the request as a parameter and response okay so first parameter is going to be your request and second parameter is going to be your response so here we have created two records okay and uh, in the apply method we are uh, accepting request as a parameter and we are passing response so here like in real time projects uh, you don't need to pass dummy data you have to you can you know connect with your database and you can fetch these details from a database and then you can send it now what we have to do is uh, whatever functions you want to integrate with the ai models those function needs to be registered so how to do that uh, so for that we need to go to spring ai config first you have to create its bean okay i will declare the bean 
and then uh, you will create a function and uh, i will pass get uh, hotel details okay and this hotel details is going to return object of that class hotel function okay and uh, here we have to provide function and first parameter is going to be request and second parameter is going to be your hotel request and hotel this request is what we have created in our hotel function okay and uh, make sure like uh, you should provide description of your uh, functions whatever function you are creating here its description is must it helps ai model to understand what is the purpose of this method okay so i will say like get uh, hotel details so now our function is ready now we will go back to our controller and i will create a new mapping here i will say like uh, get function response okay and i will call this function here you can pass anything okay function and uh, you can keep a message but i will use function and i will remove this default value from here string function okay and i will create a new method in this ai service to deal with this function thing so i will go here and i will create new method now we will create the object of user message because we are whatever uh, information you want to pass to your model it should be inside the message or user message so now here we are not sending the direct response from chatbot or open ai chatbots we are sending our response okay so there is some customizations so for that uh, you know uh, you need to create object of chat models or uh, open ai chat models which we are using so first you have to create object of your ai chat model and using that chat model i am going to uh, call so inside this call you will pass uh, your user message but if you see like here you are not calling your message or uh, user message directly first you need to pass your prompt and inside that prompt you will pass that message so we will discuss like what is prompt and uh, okay so first we have to create object of our prompt and inside that prompt we will pass these messages so this prompt is will accept you know list of messages and uh, in the first parameter will be your user message and uh, second parameter is going to be your function to call this function this is the syntax okay so first we are calling this uh, class open ai chat options dot builder and uh, then we are calling this with function and inside this with function we will pass that function name whatever function you have uh, you know registered here get hotel details so same function name should be here okay so you can create a reference of chat response or you can use a return here and uh, you can return this method okay so now let's do a recap here what are we doing here so first we are getting a function object here and we are passing that function in the user message so inside prompt your first parameter is going to be your message and second parameter is going to be your method name okay and instead of passing this map we will pass chat response okay and we will call that method get uh, function response function okay so now we are done here Okay, so let's go back to our postman and uh, we can create a new tab here and uh, our parameter name is uh, what is the parameter name function okay or we can keep its name like uh, you can keep bot okay so inside bot uh, parameter name will be function to avoid confusion bot and your param name is 
function. So what are we doing here? Uh, clicking this function, what is chatbot? So you are getting a response, but uh, you are sending response as a chat bot, chat response. So that's why you are getting a lot of things here. So if you see like here content part, in a content you are getting your response. So what are you searching here? What is chatbot? So this response will be fetched from AI models. But now if I search here like, uh, so what is our function? Our function is hotel. So if I search like give me hotel details. Let's try what are you getting. Okay, so if you see like you are getting content as the hotel details are as follows name, IBS hotel, address, Kolkata, price 300. Okay, so to optimize this response in better way, let's refactor our application. So instead of passing this chat response, we will pass our response as a string. Okay, and we will call this method get functions. dot get result dot get uh, output dot get content sorry content okay and here also you have to change the type okay so now we are good let's run this application again it's running okay now go back now if i am searching give me hotel details let's see what do you get in the response Okay, now it's very clear, like you are getting name, address, price. The hotel details are as follows, name, address, price. So if you go back here in your uh, function, what type of information you're passing? Uh, you're passing ID, name, city, price. I am not controlling it, uh, your AI model is controlling your data, okay? So if you hit the same request again and again, you will see like uh, you are getting, you know, uh, response in different format price per night address name if I again hit see now it's changed three thousand dollars per night but the thing is like still these response are in a string format now if I want uh, give me hotel details in uh, JSON format if I ask this question so now you are getting response in JSON format but if I hit the same query to our existing request, which is like this one, uh, if I go back here, AI, this request, what do you think? What will you get in the response? Give me, I will use the same query. Okay. Instead of what is chatbot, I will ask, give me hotel details in JSON format. It is giving me some random hotel details which is available on the Google, right? But uh, if you see like uh, format is different and uh, that data is not same. When I ask, give me hotel details in JSON format. So this response is returned by your AI model, okay? This is not integrated with your API because we are not passing these details. But uh, this so data is, you know, coming from your functions or whatever, you know, objects you have defined in your backend. But the thing is here, you know, if I change this, uh, give me hotel details in XML format, XML format. Okay. So now you are getting your hotel details in XML format. But the thing is when you will handle these things, you know, in your real time applications, customer is not going to ask like, give me hotel details in JSON format or XML format. You have to provide those details in that particular format. But uh, this is not the correct way, right? Like if you know if you are changing the query in the front end that give me hotel details in JSON format, then it will return in JSON. If it is asking in XML format, then it will return in XML format. But uh, this way we cannot handle in UI, right? So for that, uh, we need to make sure that uh, every time the response type should be consistent. Every time our response type should be like in JSON format only, for example, okay? So how to do that? So let's go back to our code. Uh, we will go to our AI service, Spring AI service, and here we are calling this chatbot uh, models, okay? So the thing is like, if you see here, we are calling this prompt, okay? Why do we use prompt? Prompt is used to instruct your model, like what type of data you want, okay? 
so whatever messages you are passing this message will be stored in you prompt object and this prompt is going to connect with your ai model hey model i want this information just give me that okay so why don't we set something to our message that hey i want this type of data and that message will be passed to prompt and then prompt is going to connect with your ai model that way it is going to be consistent okay because you are hard coding that uh, kind of uh, format in your code for that you need to define your own template or uh, message which is going to instruct your ai model through prompt so we have created a new method here what we are doing is here we are uh, calling this prompt message and inside that prompt message we are giving the instruction to our models that please respond with the json object okay and we are passing a function and whatever function we are getting from the customer or user and same prompt message will pass in our user message and that user message will be passed in our prompt and then we are calling our model and we are sending the response back i am going to use the same method okay fine okay, now our application is running let's go back to postman now what i'm doing is give me hotel details now i will not enter like uh, in json format or xml format let's see what happens now if i try like uh, give me hotel details in uh, xml format still you see that uh, you are getting response in json format because you have created your template in the back end and you are instructing your you are giving instructions to your ai models that uh, i want response in json format only okay so the priority of that uh, instruction is higher than this uh, query whatever you are entering here okay so now like if i pass give me hotel details uh, in something like a string format see it is not going to change every time it will return the data in form of json only yeah but the thing is like uh, number of fields may differ like if i pass like give me hotel details like only i add only name okay so now you will get only name if i pass like only price so on the basis of your query your ai model is you know trying to understand what are whatever you are asking on that basis it is returning the response so that's all about function calling so i hope you understood the concept of function calling so if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and uh, see you in the next video till then goodbye